I'm Paul Stubbs, a physicist who works for Sonar Systems, which is an ultra-electronics company. And today, as you can hear, testing out our gunfire detection and localization system, RMGL. What we're testing at the moment, <laughs> using an SA-80, a Dragonov, and an AK-47, is our exclusion zone, which is a region around the sensor that won't catch anything. And the idea is that if your friend next to you when you're out somewhere warm starts engaging with an enemy, you don't want to detect him as a target. Hoping it's going to work quite well, back to about 50 meters all around the sensor, we shouldn't detect anything. That's what we're testing right now. There's quite a lot of work involved in doing the trials. Um, it's not particularly easy. We end up in a cold field most of the day and we've got a number of sensors, in many cases up to 10, on tripods to simulate a soldier holding the, we holding the weapon with the gunfire locator attached. Obviously because of somebody firing live rounds we can't have people in the field. There's a lot of going back and forth when everything's made safe to make sure that things are actually working the way they should. The gunfire locator clips on the front of a rifle and when a soldier is moving around in the field and maybe engaging with the target, the last thing he'd want to be detecting would be him firing his own gun. As a consequence, we've had to put in a system that monitors the motion of the weapon and tries to determine whether there's a very loud noise occurring at exactly the same time that the weapon kicked back. We've been fortunate enough to have access to a whole range of different weapons, ranging from mortars and RPGs to a load of different rifles, such as the AK-47, uh, SA-80, M4, and some more exotic Russian weapons like the Dragunov sniper rifle. So far, everything's working extremely well.